CSI Headquarters, Clear Coat Solutions Incorporated. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank Sean of Blue Tech Mobile Detailing. He's my camera guy today. And what I want to do is introduce you to our pad, our polishing pad line, as well as our unique backing plate system. So here, this is what's called a backing plate. Why do they call it a backing plate? Because it is the plate that goes on to the back of a polishing pad. So the backing plate is what connects a polisher, whatever polisher that you decide to use. It is the go-between between the uh, polisher and the pad choice itself. We have what's called a direct fitment backing plate system, which means that there is a ring mounted to each of our types of polishing pads that fits directly in exact precise manner to the backing plate and the pad itself. So there's no guesswork when you try to align the pad to the polisher. So, because I talk to such a diverse audience and every time I get on the phone with someone, it is amazing the questions they throw at me and I think, wow, just when I think I've covered everything, I realize I have not. So, let me dissect this for you. There's many types of polishers. This is what's called a rotary polisher. Our backing plate is made for a rotary polisher. Here in the US, this is a standard, what's called a spindle. That's the center piece right here. This is the spindle. It is a standard measurement here in the US. This backing plate will fit on any standard spindle, regardless of what type of polisher you use. Makita, a DeWalt. In this case, it's a Milwaukee. It's a cordless. Uh, this is my favorite uh, rotary polisher not only because it's a quality polisher, but because it's cordless. Once you go cordless, you never want to go back. So you attach the backing plate to your polisher of choice, and it spins on like that. Now you just pick your pad choice. And I want to introduce you to our pad lineup. There's two pads. They're both what's considered wool cutting pads, 100% wool, four-ply wool cutting pads. Now the difference is, aside from the color, and that's just so visually you can tell the difference, here on my right, which would make it your left, is what's called a low linting pad, which means the fibers, the only difference between these, these fibers have been pre-washed so that when you're using it, you it will essentially throw less fibers around. Depending upon your working environment, that may be a wanted thing. They both cut the same, they both cut identically, it's just a matter of choice. So we have two cutting pads, this is the most aggressive type of cutting pad or your beginning which would do the heavy lifting. Heavy defect removal or sanding mark removal. They both have the ring system, all our pads do. Then we move on to our two types of foam pads. Let's start with our most aggressive foam pad. This is what's called a Eurofoam. What does that actually mean? Well, it's kind of a glorified way of saying that the foam is special. And by special, I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I've tried a lot of foam pads. I really love this foam pad, but by all means, pick whatever foam you want. This is a very firm foam pad. If you've had foam pads in your hands before, you'll be able to tell that, wow, this is very firm. You know why it's so firm? because this is a what's called a cutting foam pad. So let's say that you want to do some heavy defect removal, but the thought of using a wool pad scares the tar out of you, then you could default to a foam pad. Just know that they represent both pros and cons. Each one is truly unique. Each one has its own set of pros and cons. I'm not gonna deliberate on that in this video, I just want to introduce you to our different types of pads. So this would be our foam cutting pad. Once again, it's got the hub centric centering ring on it. Fits on the backing plate. Then we have our foam finishing pad. It is uh, what's called a, well, there's many things you could call it. An egg crate type of effect. Um, a waffle weave. I don't know why they call it a waffle weave because to me it looks nothing like a waffle weave cloth but the point is is it's it's concave it's convex it's both so this is our finishing pad now if you're a complete beginner this is how it would go 
heavy lifting, medium lifting, fine finish polishing. These were designed specifically for this backing plate. With that said, is let's pretend for a moment that you have what's called a dual action polisher or a random orbital polisher. Most of those have a six inch backing plate. This is a six inch backing plate, which means that technically you can use any of these pads and it will fit directly on your six inch backing plate if you decide that you want to use one of these pads for your dual action polisher. With that said is I hope I've answered enough questions in introducing to you to our polishing pad lineup and I will cut it there and we will see you on the next video.